Reservations, this yeah. is Alicia. I found a half price room rate on an online travel site, but when I contacted the Denver property directly, they refused to match the rate. What kind of stupid policy is that? Welcome, checking in. Welcome, really? Welcome is free parking, not what you guys charge. Good evening, how can I help you? Get your supervisor. Is something wrong? Was I unclear? Get your supervisor. If you work in the hospitality or leisure industries, chances are you've heard people say some pretty interesting things. Sometimes odd things happen to ordinary people when they believe they're not getting what they deserve. Whatever the situation, if it is your job to help them, you're bound to be on the receiving end of some awkward comments, some difficult requests, and some just plain grumpy people. The truth is, there's not a lot you can do to stop it, but it's still part of your job to try to make things right. It's called customer service recovery. Sitting here waiting. Everything has to be Guests are going to be who they want to be, and they're going to say what they want to say. The question is, when it happens to you, will you find the right words at the right time? Let's begin with some of the most common situations where a guest is frustrated by your service or your quality. Hi, how's your food? Did we get your sandwich right? No, not at all. I've just been sitting here waiting. Everything has too much salt on it. It's making me sick. No way. $62 in incidentals? I had a Diet Coke from the Honor Bar on the first night and nothing after that. $17.95? I watched 10 minutes of that stupid movie. I'm not paying this. Hopefully you don't hear comments like these every day, but when you do, the trick in responding to them is to realize that for the guest, they are a unique problem that concerns them greatly. Instead of adding to their troubles, your words can begin to turn their frustration into understanding. The words you use will change with every situation, but the signals you send your customer should remain consistent. Now, there are three signals every customer needs from you. I care. I understand and you can trust me to take care of this. 